And number four, number four is if you focused only on internal social capital, but if you do not build external because you don't have time, because you don't understand why, because you don't believe that it's important, but you're a really good manager for uh, inside of organization, it's also not good. Because as a result, your organization or your country or your city or your neighborhood kind of have isolation. And uh, the problem is that it might be syndrome of NIH non-invented here. So only guys, we care only about our own people. We don't care about other people. And uh, fragmentation of the whole. As a result, <clears throat> say some places, geographically isolated places, it's exactly number four. People do enjoy very high internal social capital, but outsiders don't want to go there. They don't want to move to your place. They don't want to work for your organization. They don't want, because you don't do a good job for building outside actor-centered social capital. This is a problem. So to avoid all these problems and to avoid all the risks we talked before, you see, number two is your goal. Both of them must be high, and this is your job. And this is model is my model, and I uh, presented this in a conference. And actually, it's now I understand it's logical because it's just combine uh, everything what we already talked. So this is you, of course. This is you, leader. You are a leader of this unit. Again, it might be your business organization, it might be your nonprofit organization, it might be your city if you're a city manager. It might be your uh, state if you're a governor. It might be your neighborhood if you're, I don't know, the leader of this neighborhood. So this is you. And this is your efforts to build external, actor-centered social capital. You see, actor-centered social capital. This is what you must do. Structural, cognitive, emotional, and behavioral. As a result, you have donors outside donors goodwill towards this organization and what we seriously care about is donors support which they provide it means their recommendations their decision is faith etc this is input this is output the same it's again you and you have the same four structural cognitive emotional behavioral but you are focused on uh, inside of your organization your bonding bonding ties and this is about collective social capital again structural cognitive emotional behavioral and as a result you have collective goodwill of the unit and cooperation inside of the unit you see the same structural cognitive emotional behavioral structural cognitive emotional behavioral the same goodwill goodwill as output and cooperation and support as output so this is kind of the picture which I hope you will keep in mind to working on this. And how this structural and stru how this your job for outside and for inside differ. How to build actor centered social capital. Again, it's about private good for your organizations, for outside, it's for bridging time. Output, what you won't expect. Goodwill, donors empathy, donors friendship. Willingness to help, reciprocal sympathy with your organizations. What it's kind of criteria you must kind of check your checklist. Do I have empathy of my silent stakeholders, outside stakeholders? Do I have their friendship? No, maybe I should work harder. With their willingness to help, their recipro their sympathy towards my company. And their support given second chances, their help their sharing of their resor resources, uh, their decisions in favor of your company and their recommendation towards somebody here, yeah, this company, it's worth to work with. How you can contribute? First, <clears throat> structural. Structural, it's about centrality. 
your you as a leader first and your people who work for also for social capital of your company must build ties must build network and you must be in center again these ties must be strong there are many of them and you think how to belong to right social patterns for instance you know rotary club this is a great pattern this is a great example where your organization maybe should belong or chamber of commerce or economic development council or other uh, patterns were kind of worse to belong for your organization and this is your job as a leader to find the list of this organization to some of them you must belong or some of them are the top managers this is important this is your job and again it must be frequent your ties must be frequent and they must be strong as strong as better strong it means uh, personal relations are the most strong the, the strongest one if we just say how are you doing it's not strong at all acceptance donors have different opinions different values have different norms and rules and you have your own norm rules etc so your job to build social capital to find this intersection something what is common for you and them you might have totally different opinion about these this and that issues good but something what combined all of you what you and these stakeholders have common i don't know what is this it might be both of you believe that you know fish uh that um i don't know your place is the best place for living or um families are important family is important or uh, peace is the is what must be in the world or just something actually it should be specific if you have some specific something what you really, really support his opinion support this even if you are, do not agree with other opinions but be sure that but it must be honest it must be sincere you never should say that i agree if you don't because it destroys social capital. It might work for some political stuff, I don't know, but it's not what I teach. I teach social capital, it must be honest. Find something what you honest agree, what you honest accept. And it, 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 it's about shared values, shared norms, and patterns of behavior. For instance, both of you every Saturday go for fishing. It's something what you can enjoy together. So you see, structural, Cognitive, uh, emotional, it's image of your organization. It's respect, which people have towards your organization, attractiveness and empathy. What you should do? You must tell stories. This is your job. And stories are, actually Hollywood provides great examples of how these stories must be told. It's stories about, you know, first, how your company or your organization uh, worked hard. It's usually the first part. We worked so hard, we just we didn't have any money, we established from scratch, da 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 da, da. Then, and yeah, we are growing, 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 growing.